For content's sake, I'm not having it. For content's sake, I'm just not having it. You don't need to know any more about this run other than that. And it's that does Tricky cherry pick the runs? Well, I think the question is more so does Tricky want to waste your time? Tricky's willing to waste his time for you. He doesn't want to waste your time. So we don't need to waste anyone's time with that. The fact of the matter is that the sentry fight is no one's favorite. And it's. <laughs> it's. <laughs> Is not good for content's sake. And yeah, I'm using the mud, which allows you to get all the Neo bonuses again, even if you don't make it to the Act 1 boss. Thank you. Because sometimes this game will scam you out of what should have rightfully been yours. Does that make sense? We're gonna rock Neo's Lament again anyhow, because that's the sort of mood that I'm in with the Ironclad at the moment. This is how I feel about it. That's how I genuinely feel about it. Pommel Strike is fantastic. I would like a card like Pommel Strike. So, yeah, this is actually pretty good here because we got our, um, we got Burning Blood. So, it's actually only going to cost us like 12 health if you think about it because we got Burning Blood and the Azlement going on. Right, so we can do this. Okay. Like, that's not ideal, but. Okay. We're good. We're good. We got it. So, let's transform one of our bad strikes. We can't be upset about that, right? That's That's gotta be, that's, that's kinda dope. It's kinda dope in its own right. And looky here, we gain our health back and we got our free elite fight that's coming up too. So actually I don't think we need these cards at this point. I think we can probably beat Guardian with just a single copy of Demon form. Um, and we get a free elite on top of that. And we're headed to this shop. So we get to look at some other stuff, so. Um, I like this other pommel strike, like another pommel strike is fine. Granted, you play it and then you draw into demon form and that's a little bit disappointing, but like removing strike and purchasing pommel strike, I think that makes for a pretty good floor overall. There's not a whole lot of reason to be upset about this uh, opening. Right, war paint on him, all right. So yeah, we've removed, um, we've removed two strikes, but I kind of, I mean, I I think probably at this point no, probably at this point no right like probably at this point no. If it was a twin strike, then suddenly we're dumping like demon form strength and that's a little more tempting. I I'm gonna skip this, but we can upgrade our defense. That's pretty cool. I, I don't mind that at all. And um, so this was a shrine event, so that means that this node has a really high chance of being a combat. As a matter of fact, so I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that if you are. And we got these defend pluses. How about that? And we're healthy. And we got some semblance of a win condition in demon form already. I'll call it a win condition. I will. No reason to take damage if you don't have to in this fight. Understand that much. But we took we did take five damage, right? So true grit. Um, yeah, we, we're not going to be able to upgrade that forever. We're not going to be upgrade that for forever. We're not, <laughs> can I talk? We are not going to be able to upgrade this true grit card for a long, long time, but it would be nice. Um, I mean, we're not exhausting a whole lot. Like true grit is a really good card to take and upgrade it if you can at any point in, in the uh, run, really. And we should probably be fine, like, if we do something like this. I don't, I don't really know how to feel about this run. This is a little bit... It's tough to say that is that inspiring. Um, <laughs> we'll see what this fight has for us. I'm not sold on the true grid right now. I'm not sold on it. Maybe that's, maybe that's a bad call. Maybe I should be sold on it. Demon form. Okay. Do you play? So I so bash. I don't like. So you could pommel strike bash. I don't think liquid memories is coming up. I think you probably just play demon form. And um, 
you just take it and we try to win in two turns with like bash um bash strike and then next turn we're doing like oh let's let's pop this too <laughs> and then next turn we're just gonna do uh like pommel strike yeah that was okay so i mean yeah that, that's that's pretty nice that's pretty nice horn cleat is fantastic um power potion is great and we got an offering now so that that was a really good floor yeah i'm not gonna lie to you that was really good floor kind of makes me want to gun it for over here with the horn cleat and with demon form we should be really good for centuries and we should be really good for laga respectively and we've got a power potion on top of that so i don't see a reason why not to just run for the um super elite here and the events along the way hopefully they'll be nice to us um anchor okay so we got anchor horn cleat true combo so here's a question for you do you ever just plop demon form down right here we're gonna be weak next turn do you play offering i think it i think you just do this maybe we don't need to play offering why do i have audio bugs I have to exit out of this game now because I have audio bugs. I want to hear my slaver and his constipated noises. Look at how powerful we are. Because we're ironclad. Oh, this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I think that the demon form kind of pilots itself uh, on some level. We should be okay. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Like, are we gonna... Is this gonna be what bails us out in whatever fight uh, is here? Probably not. Okay, max HP sentries. Not really what we're happy about seeing here. But this is a really good fight for Power Potion. So feel no pain, so we should be totally okay in this fight. As the dazed exhaust. And, um... Yeah, I don't like this audio bug. Uh, it makes me want to... Um, reset. <laughs> Man, this is a little bit irritating because we got to do pommel strike and then because we want to do strike and we don't want to play defend. And we play pommel strike, then suddenly four of these cards are going to miss the reshuffle here. But maybe it's fine just because we got feel no pain. Like, that's not ideal. We got Horn Cleat coming up, too. So, I mean, we're really looking to pull, like, the Defend Plus out. But it's fine. It's fine. And, uh... It is what it is. I'm actually gonna... I have to reset the game because this audio bug is going to drive me nuts. Yeah, we'll take care of... Should we or should we defend here? Like, that's 15 damage. That's 15 damage. I'm going to just do this. We're going to say that there's no reason to take damage in this fight if you don't have to. 15 or 16, 14. Oh, man. I think we could... Is that good practice to... I'm gonna do this. Maybe that's bad. Maybe we were supposed to... I don't think it matters too much. We, we should be alright. But demon form is kind of legit right now. Just, a, just this random demon form. I'm happy. I'm happy with the way the run's going. Mercury Hourglass is really good. Anger. Anger is not good against Guardian. If we had True Grit, I don't. Do we need another Pommel Strike? I want to upgrade these Pommel Strikes. We're not going to upgrade Demon Form for some time, I don't think. We've got some strong relics going into next act as well, and we've got a couple of upgraded defense, which is really nice. You could take another Pommel Strike, really. I'm trying to get our Pommel Strikes upgraded. I want to upgrade our Pommel Strikes. We're good. We got Green Key. I mean, we're kind of chilling. Okay, yeah, this has to be worth it, right? And we just remove our bad strike. 
so now we got two good strikes, two pommel strikes, demon form of bash, two good defense and a regular two defense, and we got a free chest. And do we need a regal pillow? Do we need a regal pillow? Maybe it's worth it. <laughs> are we gonna like? So are we resting anytime soon? We could just take sapphire key here and say, you know what? We're not actually gonna need regal pillow at all. Right. I think I'll do that. And uh, then recall here. No, not really. But... Ooh, this fight's kind of uh, spicy. Spicy and dicey. Ew. <laughs> We've got Mercury Hourglass. Defend. Do you defend defend here? Defend defend. Wow. Do you defend defend here or do you defend strike? We're gonna be entangled. I'm gonna defend defend here. I'm gonna say there shouldn't be much reason for us to take more damage than we have to. And um, I'm gonna take the opportunity to play demon form here and take one damage. Hourglass will take care of this louse. And we're vulnerable, but we can block, block, block. And we don't even need to play the offering. 13, 13, 13. 13, 13, 13, how about that? And, uh, no. I mean, we're doing good. We didn't get a rare card besides the offering, but that's alright. That's alright. And, um... Now, we have this audio bug problem, so... The only way that I know to fix that is to close out the game and to reopen it. So, uh, but I'm gonna upgrade a Pommel Strike. I'm gonna close out the game and uh, reopen it real quick, though. Okie doke. That should take care of it. So where were we? Upgrading a pommel strike. And being on our way. This seems like a totally fine run. Seems okay. Yeah, I mean, I suppose we just ripped the offering here and we're looking, obviously, for our beloved demonic form. The question is, was this a fear potion or not? Was this supposed to be fear potion? That's a fair question. And I'll give you a fair answer, and the fair answer is yes, absolutely. The fair answer is absolutely it was, and I'm sorry for not using it. Because I think that that might... Is that the difference, though? Is that the difference? Is that going to be the difference? Probably not. We could have Fear Potion and Liquid Memories, make sure we don't take damage against Guardian, but, uh, I mean, like, truth be told, doing okay. Doing quite alright. Horn Cleat is very real. And we've got two Defend Pluses in there, so I wouldn't, um, push with the Pommel Strike Plus. I would, uh, try to keep him in there. Even though we miss him on the reshuffle this time around. You know what I mean? We're fine. We're fine. Like, Demon Form single-handedly should just win us this fight, like I said. Um, that's just kind of the way it is with this, uh, with this fight. <laughs> and you'll kind of see. Not much to say about it. I mean, like I said, Demon Form. Demon Form's doing the heavy lifting. And, uh. We're just doing the big chilling. Ew. Ew. Why did I say that? didn't even. I don't like how that sounded. It's nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's nothing. Um, so, so I don't think Barricade is doing us any favors here. Although, you could be like, oh, Horncleat, Anchor, Barricade. And Barricade's a solid win condition. Corruption, for what skills, though? I mean, we really didn't take a single skill except Offering. So I'm not sold on Corruption just yet. 
Now, Immolate helps us with some AoE stuff. We have Hourglass for AoE stuff. Um, so it's not like it's a huge glaring weakness, but I mean, yeah, like that would that, that would be kind of nice. Like I guess Immolate, Immolate Barricade Corruption. This is like one of the most powerful rare card rewards you could get. I mean, emulate's wild, right? You just take emulate. You're going into Act Two, and you've got fights with multiple enemies, and you just take emulate. I think that's probably the best practice. But the barricade with the cleat and the anchors is cute. It's just barricade is never going to get played. I don't really know what this deck is supposed to do. I think it's uh I don't I don't know if I was supposed to pick up pillow instead of the key. Um I think I'll just grab Immolate on the basis of it's a really uh, strong card. And we just hope for energy relic and uh wow. 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 That is not good at all. That is like not good at all. That's so bad. That's actually terrible. Actually terrible. We got upgraded strikes and defense. So I don't want to take Pandora's box. We can empty cage the two bad defense, which looks like the most appealing option. We've got tiny house. We already have two potions. We get a random card reward. I mean, the max HP increase, like, do you actually take Tiny House here, or do you cage these two defends away? You know what, we got Anchor, Horn, Cleat, maybe you empty cage the two defends away, maybe that's not wild. We got two defend pluses, like, maybe you cage two defends away. I, I don't really know what you're supposed to do here. I'm gonna cage the two defends. I'm not, uh, very happy. I don't think we're very powerful. No, we don't have a relic. Energy relic. Are we strong in these hallway fights? Beats me. Beats me if we're supposed to take hallway fights or not. Are we strong in an elite fight? We got Emulate Liquid Memories Emulate, which is what we're looking for against something like Slavers. So if, because we have that combination alone, I'm interested in uh, going that route with it. Uh, I mean, there's like a fire before this elite. Th this is kind of what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at something like this. All right, this is the best that I've uh, got. Something like this. Fire before this elite. Fire before that elite. I mean, maybe this is more proper. Maybe this is, like, more proper. And then cash out big here. Question is, like, are we strong in this act or not? This is tough. I'll say no, because we don't have an energy relic and I'll go this way. Offering really is, you can actually, Offering is a card you can get in this game and it's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with Offering. It's totally balanced in my opinion. Blood Potion, uh, okay, I guess we'll drop the Fear Potion for the Blood Potion just in case. But we definitely don't need these cards. We've got the Collector coming up. I don't really know what we're looking for when we go to the event nodes, but I feel like the events in this act can really, really help a lot. Now, Ancient Writing, something like Ancient Writing would be pretty bad. Um, are we, we're strong in the hallway fights because of our relics. That's the deal. But we don't have an energy. 
we don't have energy. We have to take Cage. So I don't want to just think that we're too good. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. This is interesting. I think this might be really good. This, this is something to do. This is something to do. We got Hourglass, which... I mean, this is something to do. This is something to do. This is one cost 15 damage. Uh, the... The life loss is nothing. Like, this is something to do. This is early on in this act. This is uh, floor two. Like, th that's a good ritual dagger. It really is. Um, so... Transform ritual dagger into a colorless card. <laughs> I mean, you could. Are we that attached to the strike pluses? You know, are we that attached to them? We can get rid of a strike plus. Um, okay. Hemokinesis is here. Hemokinesis is upon us. What could I? What can I say? Let's see if we can't uh, get Ritual Dagger to go off. The thing about this fight is that if you don't have energy like that, um, I mean, maybe do you? I really want to save Liquid Memories for like emulate local memories emulate in case of a slavers fight but we should be we're actually pretty comfortable in this labor's fight overall i'm thinking maybe maybe it saves more life to just uh no who cares about saving life we got blood potion and next turn we got offering like what i'm thinking is something like Hemokinesis defend plus. And then maybe we hit this guy for 15 in two turns. Or no, I can't do math. And that's quite alright. We'll take it. Still nothing super... Nothing that strikes me as uh, super... Super great here. Yeah, so... Um, so... Emulate Liquid Memories Emulate looks really good here, too. Uh, that That's no lie. But we got Horn Cleat. So truth be told, we're fine. As long as we get the Ritual Dagger off. The Ritual Dagger, is, I'm happy about. It gives us something to be doing here. Cool. So next turn, I mean, next turn we Dagger, this dude. And, like, I'm trying to think. We probably don't need to, um play hemokinesis we could probably save two life right that's my take offering us at least being our energy relic and that's maybe that's all you can ask for go ahead and drink this grab up the speed potion power through ew man ew we don't need block that bad do we we're like power through is a really good block card but it's not what we're... I'm not looking to clog up the deck with, with wounds like that, I don't think. Not right now. I mean, do you? Do you? I don't even remember how to play this character. Like, I'm struggling right now. I'm not even about to front. We're at full life. And I don't know what we're about to do. Like, I'm about to upgrade Ritual Dagger just to get it scaling faster. Because it's... Uh, it's clearly paving the way for us to do something. Yeah, we gotta do Bash Demon for me. And we gotta take a wound. If 
We gotta take another wound. Yeah, I mean it is it's exactly what you what it's exactly what you see. This is exactly what you see. We might just get ran up by this uh like we might actually just lose. 40 24 <laughs> It might actually just lose. We're not going to draw through the draw pile enough to get to the ritual dagger fast enough. Forty, twenty-two. So I mean, so we're looking at like liquid memories, this pommel strike, and then we're looking at this, this. I think that's the best I've got. Bag of preps really good though. Bag of preps really good. Battle trance. So battle trance, um, with the two pommel strikes and the offering. Like I'm not interested in battle trancing into two pommel strikes and offering. This arm is um, it's a little. I mean, it would have been fine in that fight that we just had. Uh, the weekend from clothesline is also pretty nice, but I'm really hoping that this shop kind of uh, does something for us. Now, this is uh, this is really gross, right here. The current situation at hand. This is really gross. I mean, what is this? Is this just defend bash and then try to win next turn? And then rest at that fire without a regal pillow. <laughs> what am I doing? How do you even play this game? Oh, thank you for not attacking. Thank you for not attacking, Snake Plant. That's real nice. Real thoughtful gestures coming from the Snake Plant. One of the least thoughtful enemies in the game, probably. So the dagger's getting big. I'm not happy with this. Okay, so now make me feel even worse for skipping Regal Pillow, that's fine. Abacus, Abacus is really gonna be useful here. Abacus will be really useful. That's probably one of the better, uh, I gotta check my phone, I'm sorry. Abacus is one of the better, um, okay, no I don't. It's just a, it's just an ad. Uh, Abacus is one of the better relics that we can find right now. I'm happy about that. Paper Frog is also really good. As far as card removes are concerned, we could remove this last uh, strike. We can remove the strike plus. I'm not too worried about that. I think that makes a good deal of sense, right? We remove the strike plus, we buy Abacus, and... I mean, we could grab True Grit at this point. I don't really know what we're getting rid of. The deck is too small for us to care. I hate that I'm resting now without the Regal Pillow help. But... But that is the price that we pay. That's what we did. I mean, it's elite fight fight. It's elite fight fight, right? We're at 68 health. Not sure how we're supposed to beat Collector here. Unless we get something super special. I mean, maybe we go, you know, maybe we just look for something super special. Maybe we're looking for Coliseum, Library. I don't really know what card we're looking for here. I'm not quite sure what direction this deck is supposed to go. Um, I feel like Ritual Dagger is huge. I don't know if we're just supposed to be coasting on Abacus block and we're just supposed to be chunky. Just a chunky ironclad. Oh, didn't get an energy relic. I, I really couldn't tell you. I really couldn't tell you what the overall goal is here. If we're strong in fights that are coming up, if we're not, shall pair. I mean, Ritual Dagger gets better with more fights. I guess you just go. I guess you just go for it. I don't really know. You just plop down Demon Form here, and next turn. You offering emulate with the horn cleat when Grim Leader attacks you. I mean, we're doing the thing. Definitely doing the thing. Definitely should have done offering first and then 
played Bash, and that, yeah, I'm not, I'm not playing this super sharply. I'm really not. Um. But you kind of see what the idea is, right? You kind of see what the idea is. I mean, maybe we're stronger than I'm giving credit for. Like, we clearly don't have to put up with any of Gremlin Leader's nonsense. And Abacus is going to be very real. In a fight that we don't uh, have to play emulate in, especially. But yeah, like, Mob Bank. Okay, so Shockwave Plus is really, really good. That's like a really good pool. And Shrug It Off would also be pretty good here, too. I definitely am looking for a Shrug It Off. But the Shockwave Plus, that, that's going to be real good in this fight uh, against Collector. So I'm happy about that. And also this fight too, it should, should be. Would like it if we had gotten it. <laughs> so we pommel strike and then we're just drawing the other pommel strike. Like that's really where we're at right now with it. Um. It is what it is. Yeah, so Prox Abacus twice, because we were supposed to draw another card from Pommel Strike, but we didn't. So that's how it works. Then Abacus Prox again. Is this really what I'm doing right now? This is really what we're doing. This is really what the deck has come to. Why? How come this is the way that the game does itself for me? Why? <laughs> Wow, again, triple cultist. I'm trying to get the shockwave. Let me do the shockwave, and then the shockwave. Beautiful, shockwave emulate. And let me get this dude out. This is a big ritual dagger. So it's kind of cheesy how we've gotten this far. Don't have a real trick to it or anything like that. Ooh! Oh, suddenly, so bloodletting, so bloodletting pommel strike plus, so suddenly, suddenly we're doing something really, really nasty. Suddenly we're doing something extremely nasty, actually. I like this run a lot. <laughs> wow. Suddenly, now we're doing pommel strike plus draw into bloodletting pommel strike plus bloodletting. So we got two pommel strike, yeah, we're, uh, we're doing fine, I think. We should be doing quite all right now. But how do we get there? We need the steam it form. Just play that, get it out of the way. But now you already see what's going on, right? I could play bloodletting right now. I mean, we just win the fight this way. Like, we could just do this. And then play Bloodletting and then draw into it again. Like, that's... And we just keep on doing that until we win. But I'm not going to do the math to find out if that works out that way. We can... We don't have to resort to those measures just yet. I'm looking for a Shockwave. Because this, this should be fine, and then, you know, just sum up the deck a bit. Uh, I, I don't, I mean, maybe I'm missing something here. Maybe I did this wrong. Maybe, maybe we were just supposed to do it that way. I don't really know now.
Is that right? I feel like this is right. I feel like this is fine. And then we get debuffed. But that's the deal. Oh man, I'm terrible. Am I terrible? I might just be terrible. Because now we're weak, and now... You see, now maybe I'm terrible. Maybe I should have just done that, turn one. Because it's going to be difficult. We draw five cards, and then Pommel Strike, Pommel Strike, and that's it. So, like, unless I draw Pommel Strike off of another Pommel Strike... I might have messed up, man. Did I mess up? I don't think I messed up. I'm going to tell myself I didn't mess up. Yeah, because Pommel Strike, and then Pommel Strike, and then I can't do anything. I can't do anything. So what? How come on turn one? Because turn one I got the offering off with it, right? Turn one I got the offering off with it. So that's what that's what makes it different. That's what separates it. I see. So you kind of see where the infinite idea lies or comes from or uh, something of that notion, something of that effect. What's uh, this plus this? Okay, so you kind of, we've got some ideas here. We've got some ideas here. I'm getting a little exhausted at this point. Wow. So we've got double tap, um, and we've got another offering. I kind of feel tempted to just grab the second offering, right? You could kind of just grab the second offering here, but that's a lot of self-harm here. We don't have the regal pillow anymore. But the second offering does help us get the pommel strike, pommel strike thing with the bloodletting, but I hate that because that's so much damage that we're taking. And we could take this double tap and, um... Then you're looking at double tap emulate against like I mean double tap on this huge ritual dagger, double tap on this emulate for like the Darklings fight. Um And double tap Pommel Strike Plus is also pretty good. Uh Do you take another offering here though? I feel like offering is just nuts, so you just take another offering here. I just got another text message. Oh man. Popular. Double tap or offering here, man. Double tap or offering. It's gotta be offering, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna take offering. I'm gonna take offering just because we gotta get where we're going with the pommel strikes. Uh, I don't know if double tap. I just don't foresee it being the uh, way. So we could. I, I think fusion hammer is probably better. Fusion Hammer is probably better, but there's no Astrolabe targets. We could Astrolabe nothing, really. <laughs> and I'm not trying to take two wounds in the draw pile at the start of the combat. I'm not trying to take two wounds. So, I'm not super happy with it, but here we are. The reason I'm not happy about it is because it feels a little bit flimsy, our game plan. I'm not quite sure what we're going for exactly. Um, are we good? against like nemesis are we good in these fights our campfires good for us we can't upgrade anything now 
Um, I'm kind of just hoping that an event pulls through for us and that we can get strong from fighting elites. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of tunneling us into one way by, by picking this path here. Granted, we could diverge and go out this way. I'm looking for, so maybe there's, maybe we should wait and go to a shop when we have a, enough to, like enough money to buy a rare relic. Problem is, is that that's a while away. So, I like a shop because you get to see a bunch of cards. So, we'll try this. And, uh, yeah, like how are we supposed to not take a bunch of damage in this fight? That's a great question. So, seven... I mean, the answer is going to be... That. I think that's probably the best way. None of these cards are doing it for us. We don't even have any fancy tricks like Exhum or whatever. Oh yeah, Ma Bank. Um, Ma Bank is real, but are we, are we really, like, should we? Should we wait that long? Should we wait that long? For what? For what? It's not like we need to, I mean, if I remove a card, I'm removing Hemokinesis. And then we could buy a relic, like we could buy a common relic and remove hemokinesis. And we can go ahead and do that at the upcoming shop. I think that's probably fine. Okay, pellets is really good. Like pellets is really good and that could be a win condition. Uh, unfortunately, we actually don't have enough money. We actually don't have enough money because I, how much does Mobbank give you, 12 gold? Did I, can I not add? Can I not add? I'm mad at myself for being unable to add if I can't add. Oh, I just anticipated card move being 100 instead of 125. That's my fault. Do you buy pellets? But what are the debuffs that we're experiencing? Just any debuff? Just any debuff is good. Don't know in deck. I mean, uh, pellets is like kind of out of nowhere right now. It's just not doing a whole lot. I'll, I'll remove Hemo and we'll just carry on. I mean, maybe we just buy Blood Potion. I think that's probably logical to buy Blood Potion. How are we winning again, exactly? This is kind of sad. This is kind of sad. I don't know how we're allowed to get this far. I'm gonna buy Blood Potion, and we just boost up this Ritual Dagger, and uh, we'll just keep we'll just keep going. We'll keep going. I hate having spent money on the potion and then not, you know, um, do potion. I guess the colorless potion, there's got to be some colorless card that's worth it, right? Like master strategy or something. I'll pop blood potion and grab do potion. So shrug it off. Yeah, shrug it off is, yeah, we'll take that. That, that. That's good here. That's good here with the pommel strikes and shrug it off. Pommel strike it helps with the block. And then we got abacus as well. So I mean, maybe we're actually okay. Like maybe... Maybe we're not that bad. I'll, I kind of want to... I'll, I'll do the bloodletting emulate, but I'm not happy about it. And I'll tell you why. It's because now we we technically took damage in this fight, right? We paid six for offering, take three for bloodletting, and now uh, we don't heal back up to full. And we got this energy potion that's not going to do anything. Um, so there is a world where Rampage is good here. True Grit Plus. There's n We're not actually true gritting anything away. That's the thing. Uh, this deck is so slim 
that were actually not even triggering anything away. Now, defend plus, defend plus. So these all exit the deck after you play them, and so does Ritual Dagger. There should be, I mean, we could True Grit statuses away. We could True Grit the heart statuses away that the heart gives us when we get there. So True Grit plus. Um, and we get rid of the defense, like, principally True Grit plus. Is, this is a good card here, and it's already upgraded. It's already upgraded, too. I hope that's a sufficient explanation, truly. I do. I don't know what people expect these days. People are okay with uh, Jorb's content, so maybe I don't have to explain anything. <laughs> they just over-explain it. No, I'm not gonna throw shade at Jorb's, man. I'm not the sort of person to throw shade. I like Jorb's. He helped me beat the slime boss for the first time after uh, 150 hours. <laughs> hey, Reddit? Wanted to say thanks to this guy, Jorb's, for helping me beat the slime boss. For the... <laughs> On a such a zero for the first time. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. There's people that, hey, this game, to each their own. To each their own. Godspeed. God be with you. And, um, you're gonna do great. You're gonna go far, kid. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What is this, seven? Yeah. So now we're back at full. Okay, so evolve. Evolve is probably worth taking here. Ah, I keep looking at the draw pile. I know it's like a bat, or not draw pile, the deck. Um, I know it might be a little frustrating. Sorry about that. It's like a bad habit. So don't do Endeka. So we have fusion hammer. We're gonna show up and recall. That's the deal. These we're not doing anything of these fires. We're gonna do this and then recall. Um, taking a fight is better. Um, we got True Grit to handle statuses, so I, I don't know if we need Evolve. Evolve is a card that generally you're happy to to have and to play, right? It doesn't necessarily need to be upgraded. This should be good for us in the heart fight against the um. Spire elites, next act. But against the spire elites, they're just gonna get daggered. So, do you skip evolve here? What is evolve doing for you here? What actually is evolve doing for you here? Am I gonna be? So we got Dono and Deca coming up. I mean, do you, t do you just take evolve? I feel like you just take evolve. I feel like you just take Evolve at this point in the run. I might be wrong about that. You also got Fight like this, but is that going to come up? I don't know if it's going to come up. Maybe that's a waste. I'm looking for a Shockwave. That's 106 damage. That's nuts. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. I know that was bad. I know it was bad. You don't have to remind me that that was bad. It really truly was. We'll do that for the burn. <laughs> so I want to... We, we, we need to get Pommel Strike next turn. I mean, maybe you just do Pommel Strike Ritual Dagger. I I'm not really sure. I think this is okay. This is probably okay. It's getting big. So the Smooth Stone, okay, I can appreciate a Smooth Stone. I'm not doing anything with these cards. Attack Potion, nah, we're, we're good. Attack Potion would have been good in a fight just like that one that we just had. So we'll go ahead and recall. I think we're doing all right. I'm 
not happy about this fight, though. This is a fight that you wish you had double tap in. Maybe double tap was the way to go. I think double tap might have been the way to go. Let me know what you think in the comments. But I, I think double tap might have been the way to go now. In retrospect. Hindsight is always 2020. But... But, you know... We might just take a ton of damage. I doubt we will. I doubt we will just take a ton of damage in this fight. I doubt that. Would, would the mod do that to us? Just have us take a bunch of damage. Let's go ahead and spend this and get Demon Form into play. We got Abacus next turn. I think Abacus was a good, good find. Yeah, I don't... I think that's questionable design. How the mod can just attack for three right here is a little strange to me. Um... So we should be able to get rid of something like MLA. And we should be able to shrug it off and pommel strike and draw the other pommel strike. This is good. I think I like the true grip plus. Yeah. And we're drawing what? Pommel strike? Okay, good. Because we could have drawn bash there and I would have been really upset with the deck's consistency and composition. Frankly. But now you kind of see the, the flow of the Ironclad at this rate, right? Do you see how dangerous Abacus can be? And these are really the things I wanted to teach. Not particularly. It's just how the run panned out. So you see, Pommel Strike was attempting to draw uh, two cards there. Does that make sense? Pommel Strike was attempting to draw an extra card. So that was why we get Abacus to proc twice. It's kind of a trick, if you will. I've shown this before, but for those that were um, that were unfamiliar, this is a fair run. This is relatively tame, understandable, fluid, ritual dagger run, and. There's nothing wrong with that. Bottle Tornado. So, no thank you. We actually don't need the Bottle Tornado. For what exactly? I would rather draw Offering, wouldn't you? Like, I don't want to be that guy, but... Like, there's a chance that we just draw... I mean, that, that's okay, though. We got Horn Cleat next turn. We should be fine no matter what. We should be fine no matter what. And I love it when we can just be fine no matter what. I want to try to not take more damage. I want to see if we can be healthy. But the thing is that... Yeah, we can... If we can go, like, full HP straight into two... Elites like it's nothing. That's the that's the deal. That's the current situation. Yeah, we're at a nice and hearty 82. So this is what I was hoping we wouldn't have to do. This is precisely what I was hoping that we would not have to do. And I'm not happy about it. That we have to do it. We have to pay our six life. We have to, you know, for our burning blood and our... Man, I like this game a lot, and I like this character a lot, but I tell you. Yeah, Berserk and Anger and, and Clash are not what we are looking for. They're just not. And in the fight like this, we just get our... Uh... Oh, oh, man, I was hoping for Demon Form. We just get our cards out of the way that we're not going to be playing, like, emulate. And we could do this. This is fine. I mean, we have nothing to do with the last campfire except for rest anyhow. So, we actually are just uh, hanging out here. We got our pommel strikes next turn. <clears throat> and we always have our bloodletting pommel strike little, little thing.
I'm happy. I'm happy with how it's going. Thank you. Let this be a testament to the power of Abacus. The Abacus, thank you. The Abacus. I don't want to take damage if we don't have to, you know? That's where I'm at with it. But then, yeah, Abacus procs twice, Abacus procs twice. Like, that's, that's just. It's kind of nasty. It's really nasty. So, really didn't need to shrug it off. Actually, like, didn't really need to shrug it off. I'm not quite sure why I took it. Seemed like fair practice. Fair practice? What am I even talking about? No! Oh wait, that's fine. Sorry for shocking anyone. Wake up! <laughs> no. Bottle lightning. Okay, so we can bottle the offering. And yeah, I think I do prefer the uh, swift potion to the colorless potion. Oh um, yeah, we can. So we can also bottle shockwave plus. Um. And just bottle offering just in case. We got bag of prep and the 16 card deck, so it's. I mean, Bottle Tornado, Bottle Offering, these are kind of, like, jokes at this point. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're chilling. Yeah, we'll take a damage. We'll take a damage. That's fine. It's fine. Dude, it's okay. It's totally fine and acceptable to just take damage from a spiker for no reason. I promise. So, dual wield plus. Dual wield on this ritual dagger. Um, that's an interesting premise. We could dual wield plus on this ritual dagger plus. And, uh, what would that do for us exactly? Well, we could also true grit to get rid of the to get rid of it that would speed up the run probably right we're about to have a hundred damage ritual dagger which is kind of cool um this would speed up the run right to dual wield dual wield the ritual dagger is pretty cool dual wield the ritual dagger is pretty cool um there's a glitch with this though right like it doesn't get the effect unless you play it with the second one. You know what I'm talking about? There's like a glitch with it. Um, I hate to be Mr. No Fun, but I might skip it. Just because there is a glitch with Dual Wield Ritual Dagger. You have to use the original one and not the duplicated one. Otherwise, it won't count. But that's just, I mean, that's neither. I mean, it's whatever. Right? Like, it's whatever. We got Dono and Deca coming up. I'll grab it. This is a dual wheel plus. That's that's pretty cool. That's that's fun. That's fun. I'll do it. Um, and we'll take the last elite fight, right? Shop isn't really doing whatever. Shop is whatever. How much is it? it's 150 gold for remove? We'll we'll hold off. We're good. Ooh. So remove a card and upgrade a random card. So we have fusion hammer. I'm interested in doing a remove and an upgrade. Yeah. Do you think we could remove emulate at this point? Let's remove emulate at this point and um, upgrade a, a random card. And hopefully it's like bloodletting or evolve, right? That'd be kind of cool. Um, we could also just upgrade evolve or bloodletting, but I'm not sold on needing to do that. We could also always dual wield evolve if we wanted to. I think removing emulate and upgrading a random card is probably the way to go. Um, and then we get enough money from this fight to, uh, so it's 226.
the upgrade what's the upgrade actually doing though what's the upgrade actually doing we can remove emulate or realistically remove defend is probably more logical is it i don't know if it matters <laughs> just remove emulate <laughs> No, we keep Emily. We keep Emily. We can remove a Defend Plus. Obviously, Defend Plus isn't doing a lot for us here. And we have enough money at last shop to remove uh, another card. So I think it's good. Uh, I don't really... It's tough to say whether or not it's better practice to... Remove the... Um, you know what I mean? To remove Emily or... Um, defend so this was the original one right so i think that it works like okay no see it, there's an issue there's an issue there is an issue with dual wielding the ritual dagger is it the last one that gains the i, I don't know how to do it that makes me really upset because now are we going to have a 100 damage ritual dagger or not It makes me upset. Like, plain and simple. Like, that that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, and that makes me upset. Like, that's ridiculous, and it makes me hurt. And upset. And I want my 100 damage ritual dagger for my thumbnail. So what's the deal there? You know what I mean? Like, what's the deal? What is this game about? You do have to ask yourself at, at some point what it is about. And um, you might not like the answer. We have Shuriken. So this is also, you know, we got, we got Shuriken. So are we, so I think I'm going to try dual wielding. I'll try dual wielding the dagger again and see if it works. Um, just, just to see if it works. So is it this one? So it didn't say that went up. It didn't say that it went up. I'm saving quitting this fight then. Cause I want to make sure we got to figure out how to get this to work. Is it just like, is it the middle one then? Or if you just dual wield Ritual Dagger, it doesn't work. Because I thought that the way it worked was there was a specific copy that made it work. Not happy. I mean, I guess I'll just brute force it. Like, that that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm upset. It does make me upset. I, I can't lie to you. Like, I don't know if it's a specific copy or not. I guess I just won't find out. I guess we got to do this the painful and uh, unfortunately difficult way. Didn't even get to play the demon form. 
because I'm just so shook by the current reality of the situation. I'm so utterly unhappy. It's distressing. No, it's a late demon form. It's a late demon form. Look at this deck. This is all it is. I got rid of Bash? Why did I get rid of Bash? What's the matter with me? I don't want to risk it. It's just not worth risking it. They messed up. They messed up along the way. I'll tell you that much. Mistakes were made. I'm looking forward to Slay the Spire 2. I'll tell you that. Hey, it's Lady Spire 2, though. We got Shuriken, we got Demon Form, we got... We got Strength. And there's not a whole lot that, um... Plated Armor is gonna do for our friend here, I'll tell you that much. We got a 101 damage. So... Yeah, I don't know how you want to go about this. This is kind of an interesting one. We got good answers though. I mean, now, now that we got our 101 Ritual Dagger, uh, I'm cool with dual wielding it and just going about it that way. Really. Yeah, that's fine with me. Wow. Oh man, no. Oh, I'm so close. I was so close to just owning them, but this offering's at the bottom. I was so close to just absolutely trivializing this encounter on turn one look at us go <laughs> look at us go yeah so it doesn't count there <laughs> yeah yeah, Ritual Dagger. Ritual Dagger is absolutely legit. Do not be uh, mistaken, ever. Oh! oh. <laughs> I like the mirror here. I like the mirror. But, you know, I mean, you just mirror the dagger? That's funny. Like, we got dual wield, though. Uh, of course. I mean, what do you do here? You just... You actually just remove emulate, make sure that you can get your function super early. We got dupe pot and we got swift pot. I'm really, there's not a whole lot to be worried about here in this fight. Um, we dual wield ritual dagger to make sure we have damage against the heart. And there, there's, the mirror is funny though. The mirror is funny, but obviously we're doing totally okay. Spending money on a remove is not super, like, inspiring when we've got, you know, shrug it off, true grit stuff. But, um... They've also got smooth stone. 
I mean, like, our Defend Plus is, is good. MLA, MLA could go at this point, I think. Like, realistically, MLA could go. I, I, I mean, it's kind of weird to get rid of it. But, uh, doesn't it feel weird to remove our a Defend, almost? I mean, you could mirror an Offering. I... This, there's nothing wrong with that. We've got Swift Potion, Duke Potion. I, I don't really know. I think I'm wasting time here. Sorry, guys. I'm just... You know, it's been a minute since I played the Ironclad, and um, I, I like him. I think he's a good uh, character. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? This is something I should have thought about. Like, Emulate Ritual Dagger here. And then came back to six health. <laughs> what is this? Double tap. Yeah, so nothing. So nothing. That's the bottom line. Double tap. If it could be upgraded, then it, there might be a case for it at this point. But nah, nah, nah. We're we're just we're just cooling. And. Uh, Fact of the matter is, we just do a bunch of damage to the heart, and we get by that way. We have to make sure we we do this correctly. I mean, I guess you do this. I'm def we're definitely playing Shockwave, and th now we should be fine. Like, we should probably just be fine. But we need uh, the Evolve. And so I'm thinking, like... Do you do Potion Evolve here? I don't really know what we're supposed to do here. I feel like... We should always be fine, but... It's a little strange. I'm gonna do this as well. Um, for the sake of damage. Yeah, just to wrap up the fight as quick as we can. Um, evolve, and then I'm hoping that we just... I mean, I don't know, like, the fact that we're not playing Demon Form is pretty janky. I'll, I'll play this Offering, then we'll do this, and then I'm looking for, um... Wow, I was looking for Bloodletting. I'm really looking for Bloodletting here. That looks fair. I mean, really true grit on bash would be, that'd be desirable at this point, but here we are. And this is why we carried this Swift Potion. Because now we can, um... Now we can get rid of Bash, for example. Then we can Pommel Strike. And, um... Or as a matter of fact, maybe it's better to just shrug it off here. Just make sure you get your block here. Okay, now we go... Now this is, this is good. This is good. And then we do this. Okay, now we're... 
looking for this is see what's going on here <laughs> kind of <laughs> I'm sorry I'm really trying to focus and think and then we draw two and now we got our little our little function you know what I mean And then evolve prox abacus, yes. Yes. I'm gonna go ahead and dual wield the dagger, because that's the thing, is like adding these to the hand suddenly suddenly makes it a little bit congested. Right? It makes the combo a little congested. But ultimately as you can see as you can see we get a turn four heart let's go Gorgeous. Just beautiful. This was an interesting run. It was a pretty clean deck, too. And Empty Cage, it's tough for me to win with, um... With Empty Cage so early. Mercury Hourglass. Yeah, like, Empty Cage first Relic on Ironclad. What were the options? Empty Cage, Tiny House, and Pandora's Box with two upgraded strikes, two upgraded defense. Like, this is difficult. But yeah, that because obviously carried brought us uh, our win condition at the end of the day. But the bloodletting pommel strike stuff. So there's your ironclad run. And I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. So thank you for tuning in and enjoying the run, which I imagine you would have had to if you have stayed tuned. So I... Um, I'm out of words. Until next time.